How strong were mammoths compared to elephants? It's a name that comes with the perfect connotation, mammoth. It just sounds massive, and when we think of mammoths, we think of the woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth was a gigantic creature possessing enormous strength, and you may be wondering, just how does this strength compare to modern-day elephants? Does the strength of a mammoth compare to modern elephants? Does it exceed their strength? Do any modern elephants come close to the power of a woolly mammoth? Woolly mammoths Let's first investigate the woolly mammoths that went extinct not all that long ago when you look at the grand scheme of things. They were found throughout many areas of the Northern Hemisphere for over a half a million years. Around 10,000 years ago, their numbers had dwindled and they were only in isolated areas off the coasts of Alaska and Siberia. By about 4,000 years ago, all the woolly mammoths were gone. But when they were here on planet Earth, they sure had a presence. Woolly mammoths were the largest land animals roaming the Earth throughout the Ice Age. They stood up to 12 feet tall at the shoulder and would weigh anywhere between 6 to 8 tons, meaning between 12,000 and 16,000 pounds. Mammoths, like all elephants, possessed great strength. It wasn't just that they had the size, they had the strength to match it, much of their size coming from the large muscles in their body. It is believed they would be comparable to modern elephants who could lift their own body weight and can even lift great weights with their trunks. Woolly mammoths were herbivores, so they didn't need to do any hunting or attacking, but they still needed to do some defending when predators got courageous and thought they could take down the largest terrestrial animal. Their tusks were great weapons for defense, curved, sharp, and 15 feet long. Their tusks alone could do incredible damage, not to mention those thick, muscular legs if they stomped down on an enemy. They also used those tusks for digging deep into the ground and snow to search for food to eat. Now, woolly mammoths were obviously woolly, but they did also have some meat and fat to them to keep their bodies insulated in the frigid temperatures of the tundra. Because of this, they were a little slower than some comparable elephants today, but do not think they were by any means slow. We're certain early man who lived along with the woolly mammoths didn't make the incorrect assumption of thinking they were slow too often. If they did, the human race wouldn't have continued to exist. Woolly mammoths are thought to have been able to run somewhere between 18 to 20 miles per hour, and considering the Olympics weren't around yet and there were no Olympic athletes, the woolly mammoth was likely outrunning every single human on the planet. Strong, fast, enormous, 15-foot long curved tusks, who was stopping the woolly mammoth? Well, today we have three species of elephants. One of the three species is the Asian elephant, and within that species, three subspecies exist. The three subspecies are Sri Lankan elephants, Indian elephants, and Sumatran elephants. Let's start there. Sumatran elephants Sumatran elephants live in Indonesia, strictly on the island of Sumatra. There they can be found in the lowland forests of three different provinces, West Sumatra, Riau, and Lampung. Sumatran elephants are critically endangered, so we hope that they don't go the way of the woolly mammoth. But when comparing the two, they have many differences. For starters, the Sumatran not only lives in a warmer world, but seeing as the woolly mammoths lived in tundras in the northern hemisphere, and Sumatran elephants live on the equator, the two were suited for completely different climates. That's why the Sumatran elephant has a lot less hair, and why they have really light-colored skin, and it could be partially why it's smaller. It's a lot smaller. Sumatran elephants usually stand between 6 and 8 feet tall, but they can sometimes even reach 10 feet tall. They tend to weigh between 4,000 and 8,500 pounds. Sumatran elephants are not only the smallest of all the Asian elephants, but they are the smallest living elephants today. Sumatrans are strong due to their size, with powerful legs and extremely strong trunks. In fact, they have 60,000 muscles in their trunks alone. For reference, humans have around 600 muscles in their entire body. Only the males have tusks, and though they're smaller than the tusks of other elephants, they still have some size and sharpness to them. And the Sumatran elephant is tied for fastest elephant, being able to hit speeds of up to 27 miles per hour. Speed is often tied to power, but even with all that, the Sumatran still doesn't compare to the strength of the woolly mammoth. The Sumatran is just not close enough in size. The mammoth has several feet and several thousand pounds on them. Indian elephants 
Indian elephants are another of the Asian elephant subspecies. They're found in mainland Asia, and though about 75% of the population is in India, they can be found in several other countries like Nepal, Bangladesh, Thailand, and Vietnam, to name a few. Indian elephants are bigger than Sumatrans. The females will usually be around 8 feet tall at the shoulder, while the males are often about 10 feet tall. But male Indian elephants weigh quite a bit more, typically around 11,500 pounds. And with that extra weight comes extra power. Indian elephants have been seen pushing over trees that are 100 feet tall, completely uprooting them and knocking them over. That's no easy task. Perhaps even more impressively, these elephants coexist with tigers, who sometimes will attack. But the Indian elephant is not an easy target. They not only defend themselves in a battle with a tiger oftentimes, they've even killed tigers in the process. The biggest big cat still isn't even a match for the Indian elephant. The Indian elephant, however, is the slowest elephant living today. He also happens to be slower than the woolly mammoth, hitting top speeds of just 15 miles per hour. Still, that's a faster speed than most humans can hit, it's nothing to sneeze at. And though that is an impressive resume, the resume of the woolly mammoth is highlighted more in bold. They're much larger, possessing more strength, and when they've had to fend off a tiger, it would have been a saber-toothed tiger, an even scarier predator of the feline variety. Sri Lankan Elephants Sri Lankan elephants live, quite unsurprisingly, only on the island nation of Sri Lanka. But apart from their location, they do differ slightly from the other Asian elephants. For one, they're the largest subspecies of all three Asian elephants. Sri Lankan elephants can range anywhere from 7 feet to 11.5 feet tall and weigh in at around 12,000 pounds. An interesting fact about Sri Lankans is that only about 7% of the males even grow tusks. But when they do, they usually grow up to six feet long. Sri Lankans are largely just found in the lowlands and dry zones of Sri Lanka, very few found in the wet zones. They will eat about 330 pounds of plant matter per day. That's how they keep up that immense strength. They don't discriminate when it comes to plants, eating a large variety of plants, pretty much whatever they come across. That's probably why they get to be so big. And it's a healthy big. Sri Lankan elephants eat their veggies and it keeps them fit. They are tied with the Sumatran elephant as fastest elephants alive today, hitting top speeds of 27 miles per hour. Most elephants are similar in that their strength is relative to their size, and that they can typically lift their own weight. So we'd expect the Sri Lankan elephant to be stronger than the other two Asian elephants, but not nearly as strong as that woolly mammoth. And with many males lacking tusks, and those with tusks only reaching 6 feet as opposed to the 15-foot tusks of a mammoth, they wouldn't be as deadly with their attacks. African Forest Elephant now to look at a different species of elephant residing on a completely different continent. We'll meet the African forest elephant on the African continent. African forest elephants are huge animals. When looking at the males, they can stand from 7 feet tall to 10 feet tall, and you might be thinking they pale in comparison to some of the Asian elephants, but they are far heavier and even more powerful. Male African forest elephants will usually weigh between 9,000 and 15,000 pounds. There's a lot of muscle in that frame. Don't believe us? They aren't storing fat for the winter. For one, winter doesn't get so cold on the equator. And two, these giant elephants can run up to 25 miles per hour. You don't get that fast without having a lot of muscle. In addition to that muscular body, they also have tusks that range from 5 to 8 feet long and can weigh 100 pounds. Those are big, but even the longest tusks on an African forest elephant are about half the size of the tusks of a mammoth. These elephants are close to the same weight and power as the woolly mammoth, but they still don't quite compare. African Bush Elephant The last elephant on our list, coincidentally, is the largest living elephant in the world, the African Bush Elephant. Not only are they the largest elephant, they are the largest land animal in the world today. They stand from 10 to 11 feet tall at the shoulder, and can weigh up to 15,000 pounds, sometimes even exceeding it slightly. As you can see, they're slightly taller and heavier than that of their cousin, the African forest elephant. 
The African bush elephant is a beast, another muscular and powerful beast. These elephants can also hit 25 miles per hour when running, and their bodies are so extremely powerful. Just like their cousins, their tusks range between 5 and 8 feet long and can weigh 100 pounds. But unlike their cousins, they live in different places. You won't find the African bush elephant in the forests. Rather, they're found in open savannas, grasslands, sometimes even deserts. They're found in many places in Africa, larger populations in eastern Africa and southern Africa. Their trunks have over 40,000 muscles in them, and forget about them being able to lift, move, or push their own body weight. Their trunks alone can lift hundreds of pounds. African bush elephants can also knock over humongous trees with those gigantic legs. Forget about the tree, one leg landing on most animals on the planet is a death sentence. They are, without question, the biggest and most powerful elephants on the planet today. But compared to the woolly mammoth, well, if it holds true for all elephants and all mammoths that they can lift their body weight, then the heaviest animal wins, and the woolly mammoth just barely has the African bush elephant beat out. Not by as much as you may think. Yes, mammoths are bigger, but not extraordinarily so. In fact, the two are fairly comparable, and when you think about the slightly slower woolly mammoth and his heavier body with more fat to keep warm, there's the possibility the African bush elephant could have an advantage in a fight. He is a little leaner, he may be more agile and athletic. But then again, let's not forget the weight and strength advantage the woolly mammoth would have. And those sharp tusks, twice the length, those were weapons. Those would be a problem. Thank goodness for the African bush elephant, he'll never have to worry about coming across a woolly mammoth.